Welcome back. Well, given our current market volatility, we thought it might be helpful to take a look at the VIX, which is the volatility index uh, that is comprised of the near-term options on the S&P 500. And typically, when stocks go down, such as the S&P 500 shown here in blue, the VIX tends to go up. The VIX acts as insurance. So when the stock market goes down, traders tend to buy protective puts or sell covered calls. And as a result, the premiums on the near-term options rise. So the VIX can be a very helpful tool in determining at its extreme levels where the market's likely to turn. Typically speaking, we see VIX levels below 20 represent the bottoms of stocks. And VIX levels above 50, 60, and especially in the 70 level, tend to represent the higher ends of stocks. Taking a look at the current data, we see here the VIX readings starting at 5, 10, 15, all the way down, and the 7, 14, 30, 60, and 90 day performance. We tend to see lower stock market returns when the VIX is already very high. So we see VIX readings of 20, 15, 10. Over the next 7, 14, even 90 days, we don't expect to see very good results. Now, it doesn't mean the stock market's going to go down. It just indicates the stock market has already gone up quite a bit and that maybe it's we're closer to the tops of the trends. Going to the right-hand side, we see here the VIX uh, from 510 all the way down and then broken down by month. So, for example, in the month of January, uh, we tend to see, on average, the S&P 500 return around 2% over the next 90 days when the VIX is already at 10 7% if the VIX is already at 15, between 15 to 20. Notice in the month of March, and a lot of this represents uh, the major market sell-off we saw in March during the, the COVID crash, but we tend to experience uh, superior returns if you buy the stock market after it's already gone down and the VIX has hit levels around 60, 65, 70. Notice in the month of August, very quiet numbers because the stock market really doesn't move that much. However, you're going to uh, now October, if we buy the, the S&P 500 when the VIX hits a level of 40, on average, we expect to see around a 20% return. So point being, as we're coming into the month of January, we tend to expect VIX readings to remain relatively low. And as a result, stocks to remain in an uptrending market, but rather quiet. No, the data at least suggests no major market sell-offs. And finally, on the right-hand side, we see the VIX readings uh, moving on down from five and then the months of the year and this simply shows us the frequency going back to 1990 the number of days that the VIX registered a level of between 5 to 10 or 10 to 20 and we can see in the month of January the brunt of the VIX readings are between 10 15 20 25 that's where the VIX tends to fall during the month of January which tells us the month of January is generally speaking a strong month at least for stocks. However, you take a look at the month of October, we tend to see higher readings near 2530, which means the VIX tends to be higher, which tells us also that the stock market tends to be weaker during the month of October. Now, taking a look at the red histogram bars in particular, that's the 90-day forward return. Uh, when the VIX hits a level of 70, we tend to experience superior returns from the stock markets after the stock market, of course, has already gone down, which would indicate uh, with a 70 VIX reading. Conversely, if we see VIX readings around 10, 15, 20, we tend to expect not such great returns, slow trend to the upside, but uh, no major uh, rallies are expected because the stock market, frankly speaking, has already gone up quite a bit. We see here the VIX, uh, was, which is a red axis, uh, is the month and the VIX is the uh, yellow axis and we tend to see this big spike big stock market returns after the VIX has already spiked higher to the 30, 35, 40, 45 level and even higher than that specifically in the months of April, May and June however notice a lull again in August very slow markets occur there that's when we see lower VIX levels and lower stock market returns 
And then, of course, moving to present day, the blue line represents the S&P 500. We hit highs just around 4,100, now between 38 to 3,900. The VIX hit a low of 20 and is now trending a little bit higher, around 23 at the moment. So the data suggests in the month of January, we tend to expect the current uptrend to continue, maybe not at a tremendously fast pace, but the data does suggest that we do not expect to see major market sell-offs, at least in the month of January. Of course, you know, that's historical performance is not uh, a guarantee of future results, but that's, that's what the data suggests at this time. We're going to continue to watch this closely, and of course, we'll advise with any significant changes along the way. We hope this has been helpful. We look forward to seeing you back soon.